Hi guys, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together this video tonight showing CM7 on the Nook tablet uh, because the devs over at XDA have been working really hard to get this up and running. And they've got the uh, second public release available now so you can install this on your own Nook tablet if you've got it rooted and the recovery package installed. Uh, right now it's just for internal installs. They'll have the uh, stock or the uh, SD card method here pretty soon. So if you want to do that, you'll just be able to stick it in your Nook and run it off of there. But for right now, we've got it installed internally. I'll show you exactly everything you need to do to uh, install CM7 on your Nook tablet at the end of this video. Right now, I'm just gonna show you some of the different things that CM7 does. Okay, so what it is, it's a custom firmware, so it entirely replaces your Nook's firmware. It doesn't have the, um, you're not gonna have the Nook store access, you're not gonna have the HD Netflix, even though I've got Netflix on here, I'll show you that in a little while, but you're not gonna have the HD version, you're not gonna have the uh, Nook stuff, but you can go ahead and download the Nook app, for instance, if you wanna read BNN's books this way, it's just the regular old uh, Nook for Android app, so it's kind of a replacement for the Nook stock functionality. You've got the different text adjustments in here, obviously, different night and day mode, of course, as usual. Um, so, some of the other stuff here, when you first start this up, you actually don't have the Android Market until you connect Wi-Fi. So you, after you connect Wi-Fi, the Android Market link shows up, and then you can go ahead and download apps from here. You've got all the access to all the Google apps in here. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded a couple, Google Maps, uh, Google Reader, and they're working fine, so it's Google Music. Okay, so some of the things with uh, CM7 over the regular Nooks, you've got all this customization. You can move all your apps here. you got your app drawer here. Uh, this is the standard ADW launcher that it comes with. Then you can go ahead and customize the settings, you can change the wallpapers, no wallpaper, put in wa live wallpapers, there's different settings and mod setting, or wallpapers in here. So what this is, is it's a custom version of Android 2.3.4. Okay, so I just nagged a couple of uh, games from the Android market just to see how well they work. This is a free game, it's got the ad supported version, so it actually works quite well. You can see the graphics are nice and smooth, everything's working nice, the touch screen works well. So yeah, I've been having good luck so far. I installed this earlier today. We've got the widgets, like I said, with the uh, Cyanogen mod. You can, it's just regular Android, so you can just install different widgets on the home screen, unlike your regular Nook, um, Nook tablet or the Nook tablet normally would be. Install different things right here. You got the quick stop for quick tabs for brightness, Wi-Fi. You can also customize which each one of those are. So that's just some of the different things here. Let me go ahead and uh, show you. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. I loaded a couple of videos on here, and they were working well, surprisingly. So this is actually in high quality, and it's running pretty smoothly. It does have a little bit of a jagged glitch here and there, but for the most part, it's actually working pretty well. It's also got the whole section in there, regular YouTube app, got the comments and everything. Okay, so let me show you Netflix now. So I've loaded up Netflix on here and I've tried like a handful of videos. Most of them work pretty well. One of them, the sound wasn't syncing up, which isn't unusual. That seems to happen a lot of times with devices. But uh, for the most part, Netflix seems to be working pretty well. Alright, so some other things I tested. I got Google Maps on here, Google Music. They're both working well. I'm over here checking out some weird island. Uh, GPS is working. so. I've been in, very impressed with CM7 on the Nook tablet so far. I haven't even had any forced closes. Everything's been working nice and smoothly. Uh, Wi-Fi connects well. Um, yeah, I've been having some good luck so far. Um, I also installed uh, Voice Search, and that's working. Search. Working Search. There we go. So. Um, let me go ahead and now that I've shown you some of the stuff that you can do with uh, CM7 on the Nook tablet, let me show you everything you need to know to install CM7 on your Nook tablet. So like I said, they'll be putting out a uh, micro SD card option here soon. So once that comes along, you can just put it on a micro SD card and load it from there and you won't have to do really any technical work. But uh, right now you've got to install it on the internal memory which requires your tablet to be rooted and you have to have the uh, recovery package installed. So what you got to do is come over here to XDA and download the ROM from this uh, this thread right here. I'll have the links. I'll put a, a written article associated with this video uh, probably tomorrow and then I'll have uh, the links for everything you can uh, find in there or you can just go over to XDA. So once we root it, I've got this guide. 
I put together a new tablet reading guide here a couple of weeks ago, and it's very detailed. Also has a YouTube video, so you can find that on the ebook reader uh, YouTube channel, or you can find this on the YouTube uh, theebookreader.com. Um, it's very detailed because I had problems getting the drivers to set up, so I've got all the troubleshooting to get the drivers working, and I've also got a very long video for uh, getting everything worked, uh, set up for root. Once you have root going, then you need to set up, uh, install the recovery package. So once you do that, uh, we just come in here with a CWM. Once you're rooted, and you just install this app right here. It's super easy. Then you just install this app, and then you saw, and then you just click to um, install the uh, recovery package. And then you can boot the recovery from there. You actually launch that app to boot the recovery. So let me go ahead and show you everything involved in setting up CM7 on your Nook tablet now. Okay, so using that app uh, you downloaded that I just mentioned, you can install this uh, CWM recovery for the Nook tablet, and then you, with that app you can actually launch uh, the recovery with it. It will reboot and launch the recovery. So in here, this is what we need to do to install CM7 on your Nook tablet. Uh, first thing, you have to download that uh, file that I was talking about. You have to actually download the CM7 file, and then you put it on, the, um, you put it on an SD card on your Nook tablet. And then we go ahead and go in here, very first thing, you're going to want to go in and do a backup. Hit backup, and then it'll automatically go through and back up your Nook tablet in its current state. Just in case something goes wrong with the CM7 install, you can always launch this recovery package and then um, apply the restore package so you'll go back exactly how your Nook was before you tried doing all this. It'll take essentially a snapshot of how your Nook was at that state and time, and you can go back to it uh, using this package right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. This is going to actually take a few minutes, so I'm going to fast forward to once this is finished and show you where to proceed from there. Okay, so once backup is finished, it'll tell you at the bottom, backup complete, and the menu will reappear. So now we can go ahead and apply the CM7 um, from the SD card. So we just go down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Like I said, you got to put that file on the uh, SD card. If it's not showing up, sometimes it's not going to show up. You just go ahead and pop out the SD card in the back and then reinsert it and then that will uh, oftentimes get it to show up on the um, uh, list here. So we just go down to the uh, alpha zip file here for CM7, navigate down to install. So you don't need to do a factory reset because it's already doing it here. Usually you got to do a factory reset this kind of things, but it's automatically going to do it. We're going to go ahead and get this installed on the Nook tablet in no time and then I'll show you what to do once this finishes up. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. It'll say install from SD card complete at the bottom once everything's finished. So if you're coming, the very next thing you need to do, if you're coming from, um, we need to hit the, actually the power button to back into the next menu. Um, then we need to go to wipe factory data reset if you came from a, if you're running the Nook software before this. So just come in here and do a factory reset. Okay, so once the factory reset is finished, you can go ahead and reboot the system now, which is your first selection right here. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and wipe the cache because I came from a CM7 install, as you just saw. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of extra things just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go here to wipe cache. And then I'm also going to uh, go into the advanced options here just to be on the safe side and white Dalvik cache as well. So you may not need to do this just the first time through since you're coming from the stock nook. You're supposed to just reboot after doing the factory reset. I went ahead and did the uh, two wipes of the caches right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, reboot after that. I just gotta go back to the next menu, reboot system, and you should be good to go into CM7 now. Uh, let me go ahead and meet you on the other side of the load up and show you what you need to do to get the uh, Android market set up. So it'll take it quite a while to load the first time. Then once you get uh, past the uh, boot up screen, it'll actually uh, prompt you with this stuff right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this right now because Wi-Fi isn't set up. We need to have Wi-Fi set up before we can access our Google account. So let's go ahead and skip and just hit next with those uh, here. We've got the time. I'll just hit uh, automatic for now. Um, so when we come in here, after it loads up, let me go ahead and turn up the brightness because it kind of looks funny on the video settings display brightness. Okay, so we need to come in here and set up Wi-Fi first things first. So just turn Wi-Fi on, enter your Wi-Fi password and set up your uh, Wi-Fi and then we can go ahead and add a Google account once the Wi-Fi is connected. Okay, so once we've got Wi-Fi up and running, just wait a minute and the market will automatically appear. 
So then we got to go ahead and once you hit that, it'll prompt you to sign in with your Google account. So just enter your info, then hit sign in and we're good to go. The market will open, we have to agree to the terms and we can go ahead and start installing apps. You can install some Google apps, it automatically jumps to the Google apps section here initially, you can install um, some of those. So um, as you can see, that's how you install CM7 on the Nook tablet. So uh, we've got the uh, minimum set up here, you've got to go in and then set up your apps. You can change stuff right here, so like it's got the phone icon, you can go ahead and remove that. You can get rid of this if you want. You just drag icons to delete them. Then you could add something else. So you want to add the Android market there. You just drag this to the home screen. And you can drag it to that little icon as well. So you got your Android market right there. Okay, guys. So now that I've shown you everything you need to know to install CM7 on your Nook tablet, get it up and running uh, instead of the regular old BNN Nook software. If you don't want to install this on your internal memory, you can just wait it out a few more weeks, and they'll have the SD card method, I'm sure. And then you can go ahead and do it the uh, dual boot way and get uh, have the Nook operating system on there as well if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Check out theebookreader.com. I'll have the written review associated with this article with the links to everything you need to know. Um, check out the XDA, and thanks a lot to those guys at XDA for getting this up and running. Um, I'm liking it a lot so far. It's been nice and smooth. Uh, I'm going to keep it on here and do some more extensive testing and get back to you guys. So uh, thank you for watching.